What's going on, everybody? Texas Redleg here. Hope you had a good, uh, good start to your week so far. Wanted to uh, put out a video tonight about the current standing or the current situation with regards to the Republican Party, the GOP, whatever you want to call it. Um, as many of you are, I'm quite disappointed in the uh, current state of affairs with regard to the uh, GOP. So it's real simple. It comes down to, you know, the question of, okay, so what now? All right, what happens now? So I, you know, along, along the lines of, um, you know, party makeup and, and the amounts of uh, political parties in the United States. I think it's time that we, uh, you know, come up with a legitimate, viable, alternative, conservative party. And I don't know what you call it, but the main thing that's got to be implemented is, you know, the extermination of these rhinos and getting them out of the way because... They, um, and I mean extermination in the, in the sense of, uh, you know, removing them from having, you know, anything to do with what we see going forward because they're clearly um, saboteurs and um, certainly not reliable to um, vote the way that we need them to vote. And to get their hands dirty and fight for the American people, like uh, you know, it seems like their uh, their uh, Democratic colleagues do, or at least you know, pretend that they do. Uh, we and I all know it's all about power and money, but we need to form some type of alt right conservative party. And I'm not saying it's got to be this or that. I'm just saying it's got to be consist of conservatives and patriots that. Uh, observe and abide by the Constitution and value that that document as it's written. So not splinter groups, not these little factions of, you know, three or 4,000 people here and there. Clearly, that, that's not going to cut it. This has got to be a national party of some sort um, that can run these rhinos out and expose them and get rid of them uh, from our ranks because they're just clearly... Uh, clearly nothing but an obstacle to get us to where we need to be as a country. So if we can't do that, what, what then? So the main point is that the Republican party as it's, as it's standing today failed us as a, as a country and as a people and as party members. They failed us. They failed Donald Trump. They abandoned him. Even the ones that talk a good game, Lindsey Graham, uh, these other, these other clowns like Rubio, they abandoned him. They're part of the problem. And the party's in shambles. And it's a good thing that it is. Maybe this is the time for it to implode. And, um, it's time to, to consider erecting a party that's for the people, um, you know, by the people and uh, all that. And with all the restrictions about to come about, uh, you know, the people in positions of power and, and hierarchy, you know, the Politburo, these restrictions just don't, seem to, just don't seem to affect them very much. Like, they still go out and do what they want. So, get ready for more of that, all right? Because the people at the top live really well. Why do you think they're all kissing great leader Joe Biden's ass right now? Welcoming, welcoming him and congratulating him. You know, great leader Joe Biden. Yeah. Remember the Politburo, okay? Why do you think the uh, Supreme Court did what they did? I think there's a ton of blackmail going on. I also think there's a lot of 
uh, compromised political people and judges in the United States. And um, I think China's got them right where they want them amongst other countries, probably have influence as well. But this is a bad situation, people. Really bad. So compromised, uh, you know, judges, politicians, that's a problem. And you're going to start seeing freedoms being infringed. Second Amendment, First Amendment. You're going to start seeing these things being peeled back and reduced and, um, you know, mandatory vaccine, probably this and that. You know, having the vaccine or having your stamp or your number or your gold star and your passport here is going to, uh, you know, give you freedom of movement if you've got the vaccine. If not, then you just, you're restricted. So expect more of that to come down the pike here. Anyway, um, something to think about going forward. You know, I think we've got to come up with a different party. And if that can't be done, and if this is just the way America's going to be going forward, then maybe there does need to be a uh, secession of some sort. Because there's a lot of like-minded patriots out there that are conservative and believe in the Constitution that want to have a country that their kids can grow up in. Okay? So, something to think about going forward. I don't know all the the details surrounding secession, but, um, you know, people say you can't do this, you can't do that. Well, you know, maybe it's never really been done, so maybe uh, we'll have to find that out. So, any trolls out there that try to pop off and say this or that, I'm telling you right now, if you come try to do that on the channel, you're going to get removed and you're going to get banned and you're not going to come back. So... I'm, gonna, I'm not putting up with any crap. You know, you guys want to censor, we can censor too if you want to play that game. So, just letting you know now, trying any games, you know, talking all your mutt, talking all your mess, and, uh, you know, talking tough and this and that. Uh, you know, it is what it is. So, I'm sure the day's coming where this channel, amongst others, will be taken down uh, just because that's what YouTube does. But so be it. I got other other arrangements made, so it is what it is. So anyway, um, you guys, uh, you know, please chime in. Tell me what you think. Um, if you disagree with uh, what I said, that's fine. Um, you know, always uh, I'm I'm willing to listen to other people's opinions, but uh, I'm not going to put up with any crazy stuff. So um, hopefully everybody's still prepping, and they're stacking it deep. And until next time, long live the Republic.